How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week eight, and uh, I uh, I don't know. We've said this a lot. I think this isn't going to be too difficult of a game. We are going on the road to Virginia. They're one and four on the season. We're favorited to win this. They're only a B overall, and on top of that, they just won their first game, but it's against a one and five Louisville. They've lost to Boise State, Clemson, on the road at Rice, and on the road at UCLA. I mean, their losses aren't good losses. They, a couple of close ones, but you can't be losing to Rice and UCLA and then barely beating a terrible uh, Louisville. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, this is going to be one of those games where it's too close, or maybe it's going to be like the BYU game where we get obliterated. But I think that we have a fantastic shot to win this one. Uh, only, what is that, five points to put into recruiting? We'll, we'll figure this out and uh, see. I know that we picked up a couple of recruits our last episode that's where the points are for robert gray but instead we'll check our overall and yeah remember we got a couple of solid players uh last time around so that's pretty massive um i'd like to continue to pick guys up greg jones i think that we have a great shot for are we gaining on the wide receiver we are we're uh, we did have our visit 95 percent locked we have to just continue to hope that uh uh, Iowa State struggles, and maybe we hold on until he gets locked. Honestly, he's probably a goner, but maybe uh, this goes to the offseason, so we'll continue to go there. Robert Gray looks like he's all ours, 90% locked. We're like a week or two away. Michael May, we don't get a visit for, but we're not too far behind uh, Purdue. Uh, got a bunch of teams having their visits, but we'll be fine. I'm just checking these these guys above 75 overall and it looks honestly very solid uh mike harris this quarterback that we didn't care a huge amount about um we're doing okay they're only losing five weeks so maybe we give him the remaining 10 and, and retake our lead uh but overall things are looking great we've got two players that we can schedule visits for at the moment uh, we're in the lead with the 74 overall charles hart which is great news Mark Wilson, we are climbing. We're giving him a lot of points, probably more than we should. So I'm actually going to remove 100 from him right now. And then Max Melton, that other quarterback we're in the lead with. So looking solid. We'll want to get these guys probably to the Duke game. We want to start scheduling later in the season if we can. But can't come to the Duke game. You're going to have to go to the Miami game. And that one, we, uh, you know, I feel confident about this game. I do not feel confident about that. Uh, the uh, defending national champs certainly not going to be easy to deal with. And then we can go down and check the bottom of our board. But yeah, this isn't going to work. So Courtney heard the, the guard's gone. And uh, we'll just do what we normally do. I'll go through. I'll remove players that don't seem like they're going to work. And uh, we'll see uh, maybe if there's a couple guys that we need to scout. All right. So we have freed up enough points uh, to scout one of these players. Uh, I think they're all going to be bust, though. We just kind of went and looked for... Uh, high-ranked guys that weren't getting a lot of attention and uh i don't think they're gonna be great nick cox <laughs> that name's gonna get me into trouble um he's a scrambling quarterback his speed and acceleration don't look good his throw power throw accuracy i'm not sure calling a bust 73 overall for a quarterback is not bad he could be a nice backup uh option you know, maybe a guy that sits on the bench and by the time he's a senior, he could be useful. But we're going to have to wait for the rest of the scouting for next week or who knows, maybe the week after. But for now, I mean, we can just kind of see a bunch of wide receivers, basically skill players. And then Paul Johnson, the defensive end, uh, Serge Mitchell could be a quarterback as well. He looks decently quick, um, but, you know, athletes are athletes. And I am curious. We picked up a bunch of uh, recruits last week. It puts us. I don't know if we looked at this yet, but it puts us at the 49th best team in the country so far with our one four star, one three star, and two two stars. That's all from last week. Michigan and Georgia both with three five stars each. That Michigan class looks nasty, and the top in the country so far is Texas, of course. Eight guys signed, a bunch of four stars. Yeah, sure. Okay, they definitely need the talent. <laughs> So kind of interesting there. Uh, Heisman watch. Our boy was still sitting in second, right? Yep. Reese White looking to continue to contribute this season. Redshirt senior, only 86 overall, but he's been killing it. And our top 25 polls. Where are we standing? We know that we're not in there. Uh, some ranked games, three and six. Georgia Tech, North Carolina will play. 
Uh, so an undefeated team will lose. Iowa State, Texas will be playing. That's 10 versus 13. 13 versus 24 in Texas A&M and Auburn will be playing. And Arkansas and Alabama, 17 and 20. So a lot of ranked matchups, nothing too crazy. We saw a decent amount of losses as well. Just scrolling through the list, they're, they're all over the place. So a lot of things shaken up there. Still not getting the votes that we want. Um, but we should be fine. We can just kind of cheese this a little bit and check our championship contender rating because that'll give us basically our true rank 34th at 4-3. and three. I think if we win this move to 5-3, and three, we could jump into the 20s. Probably not ranked, but uh, we'll work our way back into that. We definitely want to be ranked by the end of the season. Um, but let's just get into this again. At a 1-4 and four Virginia, I feel very, very confident about this. Only 86 overall. No shaky bars anywhere. Their defense might smother us, but I still feel confident enough. And... We'll go with uh, this look, the black helmet with the white uh, pants and jersey and socks and shoes. And uh, we'll see. I think that's a new one, how that works. How about Virginia? Updated uniforms. We haven't seen them yet. This is uh, the old school looking one. I like it. The the double-sided helmet's nice. Alternate of the Navy. Alt 2 with the Navy jersey. Alt 5. I like it. I like it. And just uh, just to check, they have the... The two helmets, the orange jersey, the navy jersey, the white jersey, uh, and then the navy and the white pants. Um, I like the the navy helmet, to be honest. So we're going to give them that and uh, let's head on the road, see how we do here. So just looking at the stats, they seem to pass the ball well, which we have one of the worst pass defenses in the country, but they don't run well and we can stop the run. Their defense seems honestly almost worse than us. They give up less points, but they give up a lot more yards. Uh, top players in the low 90s and then into the high 80s overall, so pretty similar to us. Uh, and they've got a running back out. Well, he's questionable. If we see Walker Jr., that's going to be a shame. Uh, you know, obviously we don't like people getting injured, but when it's against us, maybe they can sit one out. So we are here at Scott Stadium uh, in Virginia. We just took on their rivals and beat them last week. Can we do something this week? Tails fails us this time. So we are likely, yeah, starting with the ball. A little bit of wind today, but nothing too bad. So let's see what we can do with Reese. Trying to continue his Heisman campaign. We will be returning this kick. The blocking, uh, not the best that we've ever seen, but we're able to get out past the 25 regardless. And we will open this game up with a run from Reese. Got to keep it on the ground. Uh, great blocking. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we're kind of pinballing around, but we pick up 11 yards and get the first down right off the bat. I would love it if we could spend the entire game just running Reese. So we're going to open up and try to do just that. As much running as we can get. And so far, it's working really well. We know they have a really solid pass offense, so I'm trying to avoid... Uh, Going at that as Grayson gets the first down through the contact on the read option. And we'll see if we can burn their secondary here. A little bit of a play action. Uh, Malden's open. Got positive yards through the air, so we'll, we'll definitely take that. All righty, second and six on the read again. This one's going to go to Reese. The blocking is more than enough. He gets eight yards. We are just marching down the field right now. You guys know me, I really, really want to pass the ball right now, but uh, I figure we're not going to do it until they stop us pretty handily on a run. And this, well, even that doesn't work. We still got four yards. So at the 35-yard line, we'll try the counter. Continuing to run, the blocking continues to be good. Reese makes a little cut, fakes out the linebacker, and gets the first down again. I'm just not sure uh, how they can really compete against this. We're going to try to go with the play action again. I don't necessarily think that there's anybody to beat, but Ben could just burn his man. That's not the route he was supposed to run. It was supposed to be a little comeback, but he just goes for it, and we find him for a first and goal. Aaron Bedgood is the man. Let's see if we can finish this drive off on the ground. Reese on first and goal, getting the handoff. Got to cut that one back inside to try to avoid stuff, and we get tackled forward that way. So there's three yards of the five or six that we needed. I gotta be honest, I don't expect this one to go well. Second and goal. 
Big heavy formations in. Up the middle, Reese falls into the end zone anyways. And what a drive for the man second in the Heisman standings to open up this game. We'll take a 7-0 lead. I want to say he got close to 50 yards carrying that. And oh, there it is. NC State loses to Clemson. So there's an undefeated top five team down. Up and around the country, Arkansas State at 23rd loses. That's good news for us as well. The question for this game is Frederick puts this one downfield. I think it's going to be, what can the defense do? I have faith in the offense, um, so long as I don't make some stupid passes. Uh, if we could tackle this guy, oh my goodness. <laughs> but if the, uh, you know, coverage manages to hold up on this game, as they're going to call that a catch. I think he was out of bounds. I don't know if it's necessarily worth challenging, but we'll see. Where is his foot? Uh, I think his first foot lands out of bounds. If they don't look at this, we're going to challenge it. There we go. Booth review. I just... His, that, that front foot definitely steps out first. I don't know how you could call that in. I don't think the back toe is dragging. This should be second and ten. Beautiful. So the refs help us out there. Getting the right call, and they're going to go to the air here. Guys open. Oh, way too wide open that time. They managed to catch it inbounds, and they get 25 yards out of the play. This is uh, what I'm definitely worried about. Are they, they going to bring enough pressure just to kind of really damage us? Here's a run. Mackey gets in there and breaks it up. Only giving up a yard. That's fantastic. We'll absolutely expect the pass on second and nine, and they will go to the air. There's, <laughs> of course, a... Uh, corner route wide open for 20 yards though they're gonna take a look at this one though fairly certain he dragged uh, the toes and that should be a catch but I wouldn't mind if they overturned it I mean that looks like two feet into me um if they want to call this third and nine I'm fine with it though yep that's what we figured the refs are really getting involved in this one early as uh, I'm going to kind of just uh, try to man, see if that helps us out. Quarterback scrambling, he took a shot, managed to shake off the, the first sack attempt, but we get him for a loss of four on that one. Pressure got to him, I guess. I don't know uh, who that was that couldn't secure the tackle, but I kind of imagine it might have been Durham. And if that's the case, we need to, uh, well, I was going to say we need to teach him how to tackle, but he got it that time and we've got the third and ten. So on this third down, we'll see, is the man coverage enough to get the stop? Guys moving all over the place. Oh, we almost got Morris back into position for the pick. Instead, it's a stop, and it's fourth and ten. And that means we're going to force them to attempt the field goal. And we'll see if they have the leg for it. The kick is, oh, that might have had the distance, but he pushed it left. Defense gets a stop, and this is our chance to... Start to take over the Louisville team that beat our Virginia team just lost. Now they're one and six. And Syracuse gets the win there and goes six and zero. Oh. So the only team that Virginia has beaten is not good. Sorry to uh, the Louisville fans, but they're having a rough season. Reese, with his shortest run of the day, goes for two yards. He got popped on that one. Not too worried about it yet. Let's bring uh, Logan Malden over and try to run this second and eight. Uh-oh. Bounced uh, off of the lineman there, and we just get back to the line, so it's third and nine. We'll need to go to the air on this. I don't feel all that confident, but we'll see if... Oh, that was a terrible throw. Yeah, it's a pick. Dang it. Fountain was out of position, and... Uh, well, maybe it's a pick six. That's that's so disappointing. I just uh, I hit the wrong button there. I... Huh. Kind of wanted to throw the curl route, which I thought was going to be an out route. That didn't seem to work. So we need to hold these guys to another field goal attempt. Brennan Armstrong just got slaughtered for a loss of one on that sack. We know that they're passing in, in a lot of these spots. It's, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a false start and they're going to be backed up five yards. Instead, it's the end of the first quarter. We are up. We also have a turnover in the game uh, and throwing a pick is certainly not going to help our cause. So they come out with uh, a fullback and a tight end in this set on second 11, and it will be a handoff. He's going to be going out towards the edge. Shelton needs to get this tackle, but, you know, I guess holding him up enough helps. It's third and six, and we've got ourselves a chance here 
to uh, get the defense off the field again on third down. Curl route was open. They threw it short of the line again, but Ray just absolutely destroyed the tackler and got the first down. I really thought that we had the stop there. Turns out not to be the case. This one's going to be a handoff out towards the edge. We brought the big man blitz, and it's enough to get the stop. Anytime we get him stopped at the line of scrimmage, we're happy with that. The man coverage definitely feels like it's working right now. Is on second and ten. This will be a handoff. I don't know why that man just uh, tried to hurdle, but it worked well enough for him. He got eight yards and inside the ten for a third and two. I am absolutely not convinced that they aren't going to run the ball, which they actually will. The pitch is out. Oh, Durham couldn't get disengaged from his block soon enough, and they get the touchdown on the option. So our interception really ends up costing us there. All righty. 74 total yards to 75. We maybe have another chance to march down the field. Reese getting some solid blocking so far on the return. Couldn't quite outrun that man. He gets tackled, but got us good field position irregardless. And we will see what we can do again. Continuing to try to run the ball. First and 10, Reese will get the handoff. The blocking looked pretty solid, but it wasn't out towards the edge. And there's a flag, so this one's going to come back. Yep, we expected the holding, and unfortunately, that's going to really hurt. First and 18. So we're actually lucky that they say it happened a couple yards downfield, so we actually get the opportunity not to go first and 20, but first and 18. And Reese is going to make a decent amount out of it. In fact, he's going to get all of it back, and then an extra yard, second and nine. That is fantastic news for us, as I don't really like what I'm seeing with calling the curl routes, so... Actually going to send those guys deep and hope for the best. And Dion Fountain's going to be wide open. Burned his man off the line and gets us across midfield. Grayson McCall's only got one incompletion on the day. Unfortunately, it is uh, the interception. So not great news. Bring a man in motion. First and 10 trying to get the run. Not a whole lot of space for Reese, but he manages to keep the legs moving and get three yards. We'll try to go the air on second and seven. I'm looking to get outside the pocket. I'm having to because of the pressure. Bedgood open enough to get the catch. That's a tough throw and a tough catch, but the tandem gets it done and we get another first down. They were awfully close to being able to jump that route. Thankfully, though, they don't. We get the first down. Now Grayson can run and Grayson. Oh, I was hoping to pick up a block there, but we still get seven yards and make it a manageable second down. And so I'm going to run the counter. Hopefully the blocking works and we really only have to beat the safety, but no, the blocking was atrocious. We lose three yards. Ah, come on, guys. That's a first down and more if the tight end actually gets to his man instead. We're going to have to go to the air on second down. I don't really see anybody open, to be honest, and kind of just throwing that one away. Fourth and six. I think we're going to kick the field goal. We'll see. Nope, we're going to go for it. It's kind of far for Frederick to kick. So on fourth down, we will throw. Reese White's wide open. Oh my gosh, he, the pass was behind him. Grayson could have had that out for 15 yards, but we just get enough for the first down. And the, both teams really burning the clock so far. We're under two minutes left in the half as we will hand this one off to Reese. A lot of room to work with. Just trying to get forward. That's a good six-yard pickup. At this point in the half, I think it's our, you know, in our benefit, our best interest to uh, burn as much clock as possible before scoring. Obviously, we don't want that to happen too soon, but we don't want them to have time to get another drive off, I don't think. That run was good for a first and goal. And since we have all three of our timeouts, um, and we can't really pick up another first down, we're going to let the clock burn down here uh, just a little bit under a minute before running Reese White again. And... Mm, we got a couple yards. That wasn't the best that we could have done, though. So second and goal. What can we get over the middle? Maybe a man. Logan Malden held on to that. What a monster. It is third and goal, but we are in a good spot. And with uh, 20 seconds left in the half, we're going to try the halfback dive. Give it to Reese up the middle. We haven't converted a third down yet, but we do it there. Beautiful three-yard carry. His second rushing touchdown of the game. And 14 seconds left, we extend the lead again. So the defense needs to hold for 14 seconds. Virginia has all three of their timeouts, but hopefully we do a decent job. This is going to burn a decent amount of the time off the clock. I thought it was a very good return. And with uh, nine seconds on the clock here, I think this is probably going to be a run, but 
Yeah, we didn't we didn't want to get burned deep, so a couple of safeties deep trying to protect quarterback literally all the time in the world. He throws one up. Are you kidding me? He caught it. Thankfully, zero seconds on the clock. We got so lucky because we might have been in field goal range, but we get to go into the locker rooms with our lead still intact. Uh, we will be giving the Cavaliers the ball, but I think that we should fare okay. We've had plenty of opportunities on defense to get off the field, and we've, you know, been successful once here and there, but... We desperately need this to be a, a good drive to open up the half. We're going to bring the man blitz on this first down. Hopefully we don't get burned as there's an out route. You know, I'm going to take that. If they want to throw out routes for three yards, they can do that all day. Second and seven. We're going to bring even more pressure. Try to stop the run. It's a, well, it was an option out towards the edge, but he didn't feel he could pitch it away. So it's a loss of four and it's third and long. Just need to hold these guys long enough to get the stop. It is going to be a pass over the middle. Oh, they go to the running back. Shelton's there to destroy him. And the defense does get that stop that we needed. Virginia's going to be forced to punt this one away from inside their own 30. And Reese will be back waiting to return it. Maybe we can start uh, in plus territory on our drive. Ooh, it doesn't look good with that. But hey, you got pretty close. 48 or 49 yard line. Last time we were in this position where we could potentially open up our lead, uh, we threw an interception. Got to try to avoid the turnover on this drive and try to get a touchdown as well. If we can get this one to uh, two scores, I'll feel a little bit more confident. Try the read option on this play. Second and seven. Grace is going to get the carry. And oh, I tried to slide down. We were a little bit late, but it was enough for our 10th first down of the game. Only one deep safety will try the play action, kind of expecting them to bring a lot of pressure. As a tough throw over the middle, we found Dion Fountain, and he held on to it for 18 yards and another first down. That took a lot of confidence, or maybe it was foolishness to make that throw, but it works out for us. And on first down, Reese can run the ball again, and man, the blocking looks really good, but right as he gets to the gap, it usually breaks down. So while I felt like that one was going to go for more, we only get four yards out of it. And we're going to go with the AI play call. The halfback slip screen. See if it works for us. Reese, uh, lost yards probably. Yeah, <laughs> it almost worked out really well, but instead we lost a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes I just really like to call those plays just in case they work, but didn't seem to happen that time. And on third and seven, we'll go to the air and... X is wide open. Tyson Mobley's not going to drop that one. We got a first and goal at the two or three yard line. Seemed to me like they just kind of lost him as he went up for his curl route there. And now first and goal will give the ball to Reese. He bounces it to the edge and gets his third rushing touchdown of the game. Another three yarder. I don't know if he's going to get a crazy amount of yards, but he's got a lot of touchdowns and we got a 14 point lead. So we'll call on the defense here one more time. I think that would be enough. If the defense gets a stop, I feel confident that we win this game. Brown with a great little uh, torpedo down the field to stop these guys at the 20. So if uh, the defense doesn't manage to stop him, at least they've got a ways that they have to go as the quarterback is going to throw one deep in Stokes. Oh, dropped the interception. I am not so sure about that pass play. Definitely felt like we were prepared to stop this as we'll expect the pass on this one. And, oh, I got burned over the middle. I was expecting the out route. I was preparing for the out route. And Lavelle Davis Jr. went for the little cross and burned us for 17 yards. Hopefully that's not a mistake that we make twice as on first down. We will go and, well, we tried to bring a blitz. Not sure it was enough. Diggs getting his tackle broken. You know, I think he's technically leading the team in tackles, but he doesn't do it on his own very often. Well, on second and one, I'm definitely expecting a run. It is one out towards the edge. Shelton was there to force him to run upfield, but he got a massive stiff arm cheese, and they crossed the 45-yard line. Just really going to try to continue and uh, bring that pressure. This looks like a draw play. It is. Reed gets out there and slows him down, and of course, Shelton coming in with a big hit. Gave up five, but, you know, every chance that we get to absolutely pop a guy, especially after he's stumbling from a shot, is another chance to get a maybe a turnover. That is mostly what I'm looking for right now. I think a turnover would be pretty crucial. This is a run up the middle. We're there to stop him. Took a couple attempts, but we did get him, and it is another third down. 
And on this third down, I'm actually expecting the pass play. We'll see what we can do about it. They will step back to pass. They threw it out in the flat. Baker's there to stop him for a loss of three. Fourth and five. If it's a field goal, it's going to be a long one. So maybe foolish of me to try to return this. But gosh, do I want to kick six so bad. Uh, Reese will be back to return. That would be massive for him. It will be fieldable. They were well short. We could have taken great field position instead. Reese White trying to get the corner. Well, he's not going to take it all the way, but he got back to where the original line of scrimmage was, and we, we gave ourselves a chance to score a massive special teams touchdown. Offense now has the chance. They're bringing pressure. We're going to call kind of a forvert. We're going to audible a couple of these guys away. But uh, a big chance here for us to potentially just throw one deep. Circle's going to be wide open. Potentially Dion Fountain gets a step on his man. Gets the catch and just like that we're inside the red zone. Oh, you can't show us that kind of pressure and then not drop back away from it. Burned him that time and Dion just getting it done. So far this game we've been perfect inside the red zone. On first down, a decent job. Uh, Reese took a shot, but got us four yards. And that uh, four-yard carry is actually going to be the last one of the third quarter. We have a two-score lead, threatening to make it three as we head into the fourth quarter up 21-7. Reese White may be looking for his fourth rushing touchdown, and the defense has played very well. Um, let's just finish this out. I would probably settle for a field goal in this spot. This will run Reese on at second and six, and he got three more yards. Third and three, we, we can just continue to run, I think. I'm sure they'll get wise to this eventually, but in the meantime, uh, let's just continue to bring the pressure. I want to take Malden so that his man gets out of the picture. And on third and three, we're running the counter. Reese, plenty of space. He's got the touchdown, his fourth of the day. He ties the school record for rushing touchdowns in a game. And there's still plenty of time. Who knows? Maybe there's a fifth in the cards, but we extend it to three scores, 28 to 7. I think if the defense gets a stop here, the game ball goes to them as a unit. Um, sure, the offense has done good, but without the defense, this is a close game. We'll see. Can they get it done? First and 10. I kind of expected the, uh, well, the run, but it didn't come in. Oh, they had a guy open, but the contact broke it up. Not entirely used to seeing that one is on second and 10. They'll go to the air again, and I've kind of left my guy open. Morris, oh, caught there for the deflection. Again, a chance at an interception, but couldn't hang on. Didn't call the play that I actually wanted to run, so it's third and 10. They will get to run the slip screen. Diggs needs to make this tackle, and Aaron finally steps up. Fourth and four, that might be the ball game. Virginia is going to be punting this one away, and I didn't even think to watch for the screen on that one. So we're lucky that it worked out well for us. And the defense held again. We knew that this wasn't a great team coming in, but man, have they not had a good time. Uh, our defense, this is probably the game of the year for them. Only 445 left in the game. You better believe we're just going to continue to run the ball. No reason to risk throwing an interception. So we'll uh, just continue to feed Reese the ball. Less than uh, 100 yards so far, but four rushing touchdowns. He is more than on fire at this point. Gets another handoff, cuts it upfield, falls forward. Gets five more, and he is getting close to the 100-yard mark, and we'll push for it. But first, we need to pick up this third down. We're going to try the play action, see if we can convert there. The pressure is coming, and... Grayson broke a tackle. I just had to throw it. I threw the... Oh, I hit the wrong button again. I think we had, uh, like, our square open. Instead, it's fourth and two. You might think it's worth trying to punt here just to continue to keep up the pressure and use our defense, but I want our offense on the field, and we're going to give it to J.J. Barr on the fullback dive, and he gets it done so the offense can stay out and continue to burn this clock. Man, I just so was not expecting to break that sack that I kind of panicked and was just hitting buttons and we threw it to the wrong guy, but it works out in the end and we can continue to run with Reese. I'm going to say it now. This is a very dangerous play for us to run. There's a uh, going to run the option. Very real chance it doesn't work. Okay, they didn't they didn't shift there, so we kind of know how they're how they're moving, but we're going to try this option, and yeah, Grayson's got to hold on to that. Can't risk pitching the ball and giving them it, especially uh, maybe they get a scoop and score. Instead, we just put in a third and five. 
And since, uh, well, we already know we're in um, four down territory, we're going to try the counter. Again, we're going to bring McDonald over on this play and hope for the best as the open is, or the middle is opened up. Reese didn't get enough, but it's fourth and two, and we will go for this. Fourth and two, we're going to go to the air. Two minutes left to play. I'm getting outside the pocket. Circle might have been open. Yeah, I just, again, I've, I keep panic throwing, and this could be a pick six. Aaron Bedgood coming to try to save us, and it's Grayson. Uh, I just, I can't avoid throwing turnovers. It's it's like, I don't know, like I can't complete a game if we don't have two interceptions. It would make me look a lot better as a, as a player if I just claimed that those plays were intentional. As Shelton's going to get burned by Lavelle Davis Jr. And, well, this game's not over yet, but it would have been real fortunate if we just converted that fourth down. First and ten. Got to expect them to continue to pass pretty much no matter what at this point. And, oh, Mackey can't miss that tackle. Gives up nine yards as a result. Well, let's bring the pressure here, huh? Second and one. Baker getting through. They go with the draw and they lose six yards. Oh, that never was going to work for them. I got to say, I don't know if I would ever uh, recommend running a draw play, especially in that situation. But, well, I guess you can just go and throw at Mackey again and expect him not to tackle. A little bit disappointing on the play. Expected to get the stop, and we failed pretty miserably. They're going to go to the air, and over the middle, they find uh, Demick Starling. Uh, and they get the touchdown, so... Two-score game, 53 seconds. You would think it's over, but we could have made this look like a big blowout if we would have just kept control of the ball. I had to call a timeout because I forgot they were going to go for the onside kick, but our hands team is on the field, and Johnson has fielded it. I think that's DJ Johnson. Let's let him burn a little bit of clock and get us a little bit of a return as well. 50 seconds to go. We'll see if they're petty enough to use their timeouts as we will run the ball. And, yep, they are going to use their timeouts, so they think that they could still win it. And we've kept this team below 200 yards of offense. So great job from the defense. As uh, so our blocking just isn't holding up. Third and six. I mean, they still are in it, technically. Unfortunately for them, if we manage to pick up this first down, it's pretty much over. On third and six, we'll try the counter. Got to keep it on the ground. Reese makes a beautiful move with the spin. He's short of the line again, though. Fourth and one. We're going to, uh, we're going to QB sneak it. We're too far out to go for the field goal. We're too close to punt. So we might as well let Grayson keep it. He didn't get it. Grayson was well short. Oh my gosh, never had a chance. Stumbled backwards and they get the ball back with 40 seconds. What are these guys doing? Come on, defense. This is your chance to get the stop quarterback. I have to look at that one. The way that he just threw that was very weird. Check out how the quarterback releases this in slow-mo. It just comes out of his hand wrong. That's not normally how a quarterback throws the ball. Didn't get hit on anything. It just launches straight down out of his hands. He had a guy maybe open as well. Kale Mackey was there, but uh, the tackling issues recently, that could have been complete. Definitely don't want to complain about that one, though, as second and ten comes. And again, of course, they will go to the air. And the quarterback throwing it in pressure, gets it picked off. Morris finally holds on to one, stays in bounds, and uh, this could be a decent little return. Back juke. Got the guy off his feet, and finally we do get an interception. It's enough to continue to make the game look good. Good job staying in bounds there as well. It's nice to be able to come out in the victory formation. Grayson can kneel the ball down. I would love to score again just out of spite, but there's no reason... So we'll let the clock hit the triple zeros. We'll get to leave Virginia with a good win. It should have been by 21 points. Um, unfortunately, we gave up a stupid touchdown. That's fine. Reese, 29 carries for 113 yards and four touchdowns is a great job. And the defense realistically did a phenomenal job. The first touchdown that they gave up and, and the only one that wasn't in garbage time um, was because we threw an interception. So they did a great job holding these guys, forcing them to, to kick long field goals and punt us the ball and, uh, you know, take away the two interceptions that we threw. And we're looking real good. In a big battle between Georgia Tech and UNC, uh, the Tar Heels win 35-21 to behind a massive second quarter. Auburn beats number 12 uh, Texas A&M. And Oregon State, hey, they beat Utah. Good for them. How about our game stats? Ignore the turnovers. 
we one time of possession we were running the ball really well we held them to 23 rushing yards and, and they tried to rush a little bit uh only allowed 174 passing yards which for us is really good got a lot of first downs that's fantastic reese white obviously our offensive player of the game and jordan morris honestly makes sense to be our defensive player of the game not only did he have a sack but he had the game uh ceiling interception there right uh on the final play of the game essentially their running back did okay kind of a weak offensive player and their defensive player with the interception makes sense will we pick up uh, another recruit after that win as we oh gosh have to go to the miami game hosting the defending national champions for next episode that's gonna be rough and i don't think that we did a bunch of recruiting battles some guys ready to visit some guys visiting this week but no commits which is a shame and we're not ranked either and neither is miami defending national champs in their two and four to start the season unranked a b plus team this is winnable it's uh well lee corso agrees that is great news for us maybe a chance to keep this uh short little winning streak that we have alive top 25 polls were not ranked we might be close as we saw some losses georgia tech and nc state number five and six both took their first losses we'll see some ranked matchups as well um oklahoma lost to kansas <laughs> no longer just texas that does it the number one team takes their first loss so three of the top six uh lost that week as did number 10 iowa state uh number 12 texas a&m number 11 florida and potentially some others number 16 oregon fell out arkansas nebraska and arkansas state did as well uh we're still not receiving votes though so that's a little bit disappointing and the first BCS poll has come out, and we're not on that either. So it's going to take a little bit of work, but I think that we can get up there. I am curious. I have to look. Championship contender, where are we standing at this point? 36th. Did we move at all? I feel like that's where we were uh, after last game. I guess we didn't beat a great team. Players of the week, did we get anything there? No, no love. We didn't even get any love in the uh, ECC player of the week. That's disappointing, but that doesn't matter because we have the Heisman watch to worry about. What did Reese do after last game? The four touchdowns and over 100 yards rushing is enough to move him up into the top spot. Oh, if Reese White wins this, I'm going to be so stoked. He's honestly having not the greatest season so far, just shy of 800 yards, just shy of 100 yards a game average yards per rush is pretty solid 17 touchdowns on the season is good as well he's also got a little bit of receiving but where he's really looking good is his kick return yards an extra 1600 all-purpose yards and, and two uh kickoff touchdowns is pretty impressive so we're looking really really solid there but unfortunately that's going to be the end of this episode if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it and you're not subscribed please consider uh, hitting the subscribe button as you know at this point it helps out quite a bit and while you're down there subscribing you can head to the description where you'll find links to my twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster there's also links for my twitter and our community discord and as always there is a link to get the college football revamped mod if you want it for yourself that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.